So are you thinking about buying a Mac anytime soon? Well, I actually have four good reasons why you probably shouldn't and one really good reason why you probably should. Let's talk about it. So there's definitely no doubt that Macs are a pretty good investment in computers, but there are still reasons why you probably shouldn't purchase a Mac. One of those main reasons is the hardware really isn't as upgradable as it is with a PC. One of the best things about a PC is it can basically actually change out any part you need within the PC. And depending on the PC that you purchase, some of them can make it extremely easy for you to swap out the different aspects of the PC as you go along. Now, sure, Macs give you the ability to swap out the RAM pretty easily via a door in the back of the Mac itself, but try swapping out a hard drive, a fan, a power supply, or a graphics card. The list goes on and on. It gets extremely more difficult to do so, and you're actually pretty much unable to do so unless you have the right tools and some proper training. Whereas just about every part in a PC can be easily swapped out. If you need a new hard drive, you just go in and replace the hard drive. If you need a new power supply, you go in and replace the power supply. All that's really needed is some research to make sure the parts go with the motherboard and things that you have in your current computer. And then it's pretty much just a plug and play kind of setup with the PC, giving you kind of the ability to have your PC grow with you as you go along. So if you do buy a PC with limited amount of hard drive space and you need it to grow later on, you can kind of just install that hard drive pretty easily inside your computer or upgrade your graphics card or just kind of grow with the chassis that you currently have. You don't really have those options with a Mac. And another reason is that if you're a gamer in any way, shape or form, there's absolutely no doubt that the gaming experience is definitely better on a PC than it is on a Mac. I know some people are going to argue that Macs can game as well, but you got to admit that the experience, the community, everything is just not there as it is when you purchase a PC. And one of the main reasons for this is is Max kind of focus on optimizing their computers for the user experience. And user experience usually revolves around optimizing it for use with their software. So in a lot of situations, they put that raw power that PCs kind of throw in, they put that to the side and they just kind of put in enough for your PC to work well and run the software that you're running on your computer extremely well. And God forbid you look into how much a Mac with some raw power costs, you, you may actually pass out. Those things are extremely expensive. And the truth of the matter is most modern day computer games just require so much more power than your base or standard level Mac is going to have available to run it. Now, if you couple that with the actual small amount of games that are compatible with the Mac platform, and also just that that Windows based gaming PC master race community is already just so set up and entrenched. If you're looking for any type of a gaming experience, then a PC is probably definitely the way to go versus a Mac. Let's talk about the elephant in the room and that is expenses, money, how much this thing actually costs. Now I know you can probably say that PCs are expensive as well. There are definitely some really expensive PCs out there, but there's no doubt that Macs kind of are known for being expensive machines. And that really revolves around the fact that they're basically competing with themselves. If you're going to purchase a Mac, Apple is the only company that makes Macs. So they're not going to be adjusting their price as aggressively as they would if somebody else was making those computers and they had to compete against that company. Where on the other hand, there are a ton of different different companies that make PCs and they're all kind of competing for your bank, your money, your wallet. So they're going to be aggressively pricing their machines to get you to purchase that machine. So it's very much likely that you're going to be able to find a much better deal on a PC that kind of fits within your price range, where with Mac, you're going to have to kind of fit within their price range. Just remember, it's always very simple math. More competition equals better pricing, which kind of leads into another Another good reason that you would probably want to buy a PC over a Mac, you can kind of better tailor make a PC to exactly what you need it to do. If you need a gaming PC, you can get a gaming PC, a PC that's optimized just to play games. If you do video editing, you can get a PC that is fully optimized and just completely built to do video editing, music editing, photo editing. If you just need a workstation for your company, you can just build a PC to do that. If you just need a standard dumb PC to sit in a corner somewhere and store a bunch of files on, you can build a PC to do that. PCs are so customizable to the thing that you need them to do, where Macs 
are kind of customizable, but you're still working off a template that is designed to do certain things. So the customization is kind of there with Macs, but it isn't there as much as it is with PCs. So that really leads me into the one big reason that you may actually want to choose a Mac over a PC. And that is going to be if you're in that Apple ecosystem. A lot of people, when they purchase their iPhones, they usually buy an iPad to go along with it. So if you're completing that circle of life, that Apple ecosystem by buying a Mac to go with your iPad to go with your iPhone then a lot of these four things even if they apply to you may still be overshadowed by the fact that completing that circle and getting into the Apple ecosystem actually benefits you a lot more if you really consider it if you have your iPhone you're kind of signed into everything and it makes everything kind of communicate with each other that's one of the beauties about Apple is just everything talks so well with each other communicates so so well you can transfer documents you can airdrop files your playlist follow you if you get a phone call here it picks up over there there's just so many benefits and convenience about being in the Apple ecosystem that if you are completing that circle these four things that I kind of bring up you may want to look into maybe gaming someplace else or buying a smaller gaming PC because that Apple ecosystem is pretty strong and it's a pretty good reason to purchase a Mac. And also their operating system is not that bad either. Trust me, I like Windows and Windows 10 is definitely a better experience than Windows 8, but I've been in love with the Mac OS. There's some simplicity that's kind of baked in on the top with some really complex things that you can kind of do underneath if you know how to get to them. So this video is definitely not to deter you from purchasing a Mac. I just like everyone to have a full rounded idea of what they're looking for. Remember to buy a piece of tech that suits your needs. Don't buy a piece of tech because it's popular or because everyone else is getting it. Buy something that's going to fit within your lifestyle. So if any of these four things kind of apply to you, sit back, take a look, compare and contrast, and you may want to look into a PC. But again, if you're buying into that Apple ecosystem, them already then maybe it's a better choice just to go with a Mac anyway guys I would love to know what you guys think about the subject what are some of the reasons you would purchase a PC over a Mac or a Mac over a PC go ahead and comment in the comment section down below the video is the Apple ecosystem enough for you to complete that circle and buy a Mac I want to hear about it comment in the comment section down below as well and while you're down there I have a link to my discord that I set up to communicate just a little bit better with you guys if you want to check that out the link is going to be in the description of this video and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit that like button because it lets YouTube know that this was a good video that you enjoyed and others may enjoy it and hitting that subscribe button lets us know that this was a good video that you enjoyed so we can do more videos just like this with that bell for notification that bell is actually pretty important because it's the only way you guys are going to know and release some cool helpful content like this one until next time guys you can check out some of the other content we have listed on the channel here and as always until next time guys make sure to stay safe out there and peace out